Well, June 8th is United Nations World Oceans Day, and locally, it's the start of the Blue Water Film Festival. And joining us now to speak more about the upcoming Blue Water Film Festival is the executive director of the festival, Greg Reitman. Greg, thank you so much for being here tonight. This festival was founded in 2020. Tell us more about it. Sure. So basically, Blue Water, you know, it's a perfect place, San Diego. Uh, it's four days, four nights, about 40 programs. We have shorts, docs, features, animations. We have uh, nine jurors in each of the categories. And we conclude with, with the Blue Water Awards night on June 11th. Talk a little bit about why it's called the Blue Water Film. <laughs> like, I mean, really, well, it's, it's really related to the water and, and obviously conservation. It is, and it also started out as my production company, Blue Water Entertainment, that was born in the Blue Mountains in Australia. Um, and really became a full, you know, culmination of thinking about films, shorts, just documentaries, narratives, and just thinking like this would be a perfect place to run a film festival. Tell us about some of the films that people can see this year. We're actually looking at look, a trailer or something here. What are, you, what are we seeing? That is our trailer. Well, first of all, our trailer is fabulous. It was produced and edited by Adriana Tortara from the University of Michigan, one of our volunteers. She did a great job this year. Uh, basically, it's a culmination. We take clips from each of the films. Uh, our centerpiece film is from Austria this year. It's called Patrick and the Whale. Uh, opening night will be at MOPA um, with a short film called The Water Walker by Stevie Solis, who's local San Diego from Oceanside. Oceanside. And then also conclude with the feature film uh, Who is the Marcuses? Um, and then closing night, we have a very special film from Patagonia. Um, by Yvonne Chouinard, it's called Corazon Salado, which um, takes place in Chile and what's happening with the, with the fish down there. Um, you know, these films are from all over the world. Tell us a little bit about opening night, uh, some of the details. So when does it start? When, where can people see everything? You know, so we'd like to start in MOPA, Museum of Photography in Balboa Park. Mm -hmm. We just think it's the perfect family-friendly venue um, for our content. Uh, so Water Walker will start, which is a short film by local San Diego filmmaker, Stevie Salsas, will open the festival at 6.30. And then from there, we'll then, we'll then transition to the feature um, documentary film, The Who Are the Marcuses? And, and, we'll, and then we'll have a Q&A, of course, afterwards. Who are the Marcuses? Um, is that from the East Coast or from? So Who Are the Marcuses are actually from San Diego. Oh. They are a Jewish family that made and contributed the largest single donation to the state of Israel. They gave a $500 million donation to the Ben-Gurion University for the idea of what would happen if people went to war over water and how can we solve this problem. What are you most excited about? Me, personally? Yeah, sure. I, I, it's a couple of things. One, I love the idea that the youth come, the, our, our volunteers mm -hmm. that help put together the film festival. They do, I always say have a, 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 this, this expression, we do everything wrong and everything comes right. And I think that's sort of just how you understand how film festivals get done. It's just there's so many things that all need to be coordinated and all need to culminate within a four day period and it's almost impossible to get everything right. And for some strange reason, we all, the kids really help make the magic come together. So it's really watching them, you know, learning how to swim for the first time, like, you know, in the ocean and having to put something together is really fun. I think the second thing I, I'm starting to really appreciate is the fact that our award show is starting to get significance. Um, State Senator Padilla is coming this year to do opening remarks. Uh, the Canadian Consulate is also coming, who's involved with the Blue Tech down here with Scripps. Um, and then just the awards themselves, the idea of just being able to honor Yvonne Chouinard with the Global Guardian Award, uh, Dr. Wallace Nichols with the Pioneer Award. And then recently I got a text about a couple hours ago, but Rob Machado, um, the big surf guy down here in, in San Diego has also accepted his Eco Hero Award. So, which for me, that really is a culmination of a great night here in San Diego. You know what, it's amazing. Some heavy hitters, obviously, coming to this, so it's such a great thing. Uh, it starts at MOPA, but there are a couple other places that it's gonna be at as well. Correct, so we're doing, we have two um, galleries that we're gonna be, or two book receptions in La Jolla, Friday night from four to five at the Magelson Gallery, um, where nature is at its finest, and this is where you have an opportunity to meet uh, uh, D uh, and Zedism and his art on Friday, and then Saturday, Dr. Wallace Nichols, who wrote a New York Times best-selling um, book called Blue Minds. 
So those are great um, book receptions. And then Friday night we'll be at the La Paloma Theater up in Encinitas where we'll have our big showings, Waterman, which is a big film made in Hawaii, and then Patrick and the Whale, which is coming all the way from Austria. Some wow. good ones. All right, Greg Reitman, thank you so much for coming in to speak about the, uh, the Blue Water Film Festival. And we can't wait to see how it is. It's, uh, it sounds like it's just been a labor of love for you. I know it's a labor of love. It's definitely a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's okay. a lot of work. Good, yeah, but I think, what, I think what's really important, though, is that people really get that water is medicine and that you know there's something important about water and it's a universal thing that we're all interconnected with. And you know it is political, but it's also important. Mm -hmm. And perfectly set here yeah. in San Diego. Yeah. Greg, thank <laughs> you so much.